What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that does not have a release date yet, but it's supposed to be released in 2020. It's out from Playway and Pyramid Games, the same makers from Occupy Mars, which is also uh, on its way out, and Rover Mechanics Simulator, which we have covered on the channel. This is a game where you are a paleontologist. You get to go find fossils, put them together, and possibly start your own museum. Dinosaur Fossil Hunter is a very uh, storytelling simulator where you play as a paleontologist, search, dig, study uncovered fossils, and prepare the skeletons to learn about extinct species and build your own museum. I love it. Let's do it. It belongs in a museum. So do you. Let's go ahead and pop in a new game. Now, again, this is an alpha version. I'll put a link in the description down below for you to get the demo yourself. It's all for free. The demo, that is, not the actual full game. Let's not get crazy because it's not out yet. Let's, I mean, why, why, why would that be out right now? Oh. We have a lovely tree and benches. A little framiness, but it ain't no big thing, chicken wing, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I like this. It's pretty. Rah, look at all these little individual pieces, man. Do we have to find all of these things? Oh, it's gonna be wild. Dude. Look at all these little pieces. They're floating in the air. This thing's made of magic? This dinosaur was made of magic? How did he die? Wow. It's a little cloudy outside. I dig it. Alright. Take it, I gotta go over here. Just guessing your museum is starting to run out of free space. And you think you've started, huh? <laughs> oh. We're, we're connecting the dots. When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Alright, so we gotta pick up the pencil. One, two, three. We're reliving a childhood memory. And a childhood memory of mine not being able to connect the dots. Connect the dots. La 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 la. Love Pee Wee Herman. Uh, boop, boop. Up we go. Look at this. We are artists. Boom, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Put it on somebody's refrigerator. Woo! Continue. It was one of the most exciting days of my life. That? All right, man. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. What the? How's this? How's this help for my, my youth? I just dropped. Just dropped on my head. By the sea. We're just left by the sea. Left by the sea. Left by the sea. Left by the sea. Guess I gotta walk around some of this stuff, huh? Eh. Oh, we can hit shift button too. Oh, nice. Shift button kind of moves us all along. Oh. Ah, what is it? It's a tooth of some kind. Can't really. Okay, I can't really tell. I lost it six months later, of course, because you're a kid. At the age of 14, nearly all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Okay. Uh. All right. This model builder simulator. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Oh, okay. So we pick it up and we put the down. Click it. Stick it. Boom. Now, is this a brontosaurus or a brachiosaurus? I always get them confused. Now, a stegosaurus. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I got the sketch at least. Okay. Who needs a ma manuals? First off, I don't need no manuals. Ah, okay. I see what's going on here. So, this is definitely a leg. Ah, you got to hover over top of it. So, you click it, and then you hover over top of it, and it tells you if it's good or not. That's our guy right there. That's our head. Boop, tail, foot, foot, steggy pieces. Awesome. Oh, I just missed a little bit of dialogue. I even won the local talent show once. They loved my triceratops, of course, because triceratops is a dope. It's plural. Uh, a couple of years later, the money I got as a reward in that competition turned out to be of an invaluable help. Get some cash, bro. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group Paleontol did I say that right? Pa paleontological, paleontological group in a newspaper. It turned out that they needed volunteers who were willing to work at the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job 
as you probably imagined it paid off. Yeah, it paid off. Look at me. Looks like we're here. You've got a message. You've got mail. Organization info. Welcome to the mining. Oh my god. Okay, use RMB to place marker on the highlighted area on the map. Gotcha. Welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, the miners came across something what appears to be a dinosaur remains. We've managed to get the mine closed until the matter is dealt with. Given the fact that neither the workers nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown, we have to act fast. The crew, which was initially assigned to the case reports, that the remains are perhaps the bones of the ornithomominus. 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 They had to leave it, and according to their reports, the area is still rich in precious fossils. Your job is relatively easy. Head to the area marked on your map and leave no stone unturned. The area is marked on the radar as well, so you shouldn't have any problems finding that. The off-road car park nearby is fueled and ready. We hope your work will be fruitful. With your help, we should be able to finally complete the full skeleton of our museum. Our forearm museum. The missing bones are what we're looking for. A hip bone, a right, arm, a right arm bone, and a vertebra. Nice. All right, so map. I take it this is the spot we gotta go to. Right click it to mark it. Okay. Boom. Get in the car and get to the excavation site. <laughs> okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Got a nice little Range Rover here. Follow the pointer on the compass. I'm looking at the sign here. It says excavation area. Uh oh. Hard hat area. Hard hat area, everybody. Are we mud running? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? Chainsaw! You gotta unblock this area here. Ah, oh, I'm strongly bull. We must remove these out of the way. Can I grab you? No. Okay, it looks like we can get around this because it doesn't allow me to cut this other part here. It locks up on me. Oh, okay. For some reason it was locking up on me and I couldn't touch I couldn't I couldn't do anything to it. Just gonna move this out of the way. Right click, right click to drop or throw. Follow the pointer on the compass. Okay, so we hit X to get rid of these. Awesome. We figured we figured it out. Log in the middle of the road, we have a chainsaw. Chop it down. It looks like we're sliding here a little bit. We've got two wheel driving going on. Got some mud runner. Is this mud runner? Uh oh. Slime mud ahead of you. Press B to lock the differential. Gotcha. Differential lock is where it's at. I like the driving, uh, the driving mechanics. There's no driver. We're invisible. Someone help. This truck is haunted. On a truck, going to, going to get some bones. All right. Uh oh. Looks like we have to get out of pickaxe. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Eh. 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 Break the stone in smaller piece. Thank you. No kidding. Eh. Eh. This animation is kind of <laughs> definitely has a little bit of a weak sauce moment. Like, eh. There we go. And when the chunks break off, it looks like they vanish. So that's good. There we go. That should be that should be enough. Should be plenty. All right. Use pickaxe to remove stone. I've already done that. All right. Excavation site. You're close to the excavation site. Go ahead and park your car. Will do. Hold space to secure the area. We're slowly holding the space bar. We're watching this go around. Oh, because it looks like it's building and setting things up. That's nice. Okay. Okay. For a second there, I'm like, why do I have to hold this thing in the whole time? All right. You've got a message. And we're here. Let's go ahead and check the messages. Excavation workflow. We've got information that the perimeter is already secured and you can start the search right away. You're well prepared for the job. Your equipment and GPR 
that you can uh, scan the ground with a shovel and plaster to secure your findings. Start your work with the initial GPR scan. If you find anything, dig it out and secure it with plaster. You'll receive further instructions on fossil transportation in the future. All right, okay. Looks like we got... Find a good place to explore with scan, scan with a GPR. Okay. Now, when it comes to the GPR in the demo, usually GPR is like we're going right down deep into the, uh, into the earth looking for disturbances. This GPR is going for straight rocks, homie. Oh, so we got to hit it with a flag. It's going through. Oh, oh. Flag hopping. Okay. So now we dig. Eh. 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 Not all these rocks are going to have stuff. We'll see what we can pull out. Okay. Let's uh let's toss some of this stuff. It looks like I I don't think any of these actually Oh, so we oh wait, this is this already hit, is a fossil? And we can examine the rock. I don't see why we have to because it doesn't really show you anything on the outside of it. But once it tells you to rotate and examine the rock, we can put this down, hit the 6. And this is our plaster. And usually if we uncover something real nice, it'll allow us to pick it up. But say if I have the plaster, it'll give me an outline, and that outline will then allow me to dump what I need to dump over here. Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Hoo! Aha! Now as you can see, we found fossils. Securing the find in the plaster. Got a little bone sticking out of here, man. So we got to plaster it up. Let's dump it on the ground. And it should allow us to see that outline now. Now we got to put some plaster on it. We got to protect this rock. We must protect this rock. Let's grab you. Okay, so that's one. We've got a message. Message. Fossil transportation. Once you're done, uh, once you're done with the extracting and securing the findings, Use your car to transport them to the transport hub marked on your map. After you do this, use the tablet to send them away to the museum. Get out of town. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now if I go ahead and take the plaster, aha, so we got another one here that we can plaster up, which means that's a fossil. That's good to go. So we got one, two, and we're gonna need three. Do we have any other ones? Any other fossils? Oh, right there. That's the third, John. Nice. Grab you. And we'll take them over. Now to transport them, we got to take them over here. we got these three bins. Feels like we're about to ship the Ark of the Covenant. Open the trunk and put the crate into the car. Don't tell me what to do. All right, and that's the last one. So now we got to open up the whip. I like it. Let's go ahead and stack them up. All right. It doesn't seem like it would fit, but it does. And if it fits, we sits. Beautiful. Now this third one, can we put it up on the top? We can. Beautiful. Nice. For a second there, I thought I was going to stuff it in the back there, but nope, we're all good. So we go into the map, and it looks like we have another highlighted area. We can go ahead and uh, hopefully let's move this up. There we go. Alrighty. Looks like we got some pallets we got to put the stuff on. Let's grab you. Boop. Take you. And we'll take you. Unload the truck with the crates. Open tablet to leave this area and transport the findings to the museum or continue the excavation. So we go here. Travel. We are up here in Montana. I want to go to Montana. Everyone, uh, Anyone ever see Hunt for Red October? I want to visit Montana. Let's go. Do you want to send the crates to the museum? Yes. Do you want to travel to the museum? Yes. All right, we're here in the workshop. Looks like we got ourselves a little setup here. Remove plaster and extract the bones. We have some cleaning areas and 
At least we got a little bit of the view of the campus. I like it. Got our computer set up over here. I don't think we need any of that. Oh, check this out. Got most of our dinosaur, but we need other parts to it. So we got this part here, this rock. Let's go ahead and we'll pop this in here. Hit E to enter the station. Let's cut these rocks, kid. Woo! Now when it's done doing this thing, it will automatically transfer over to this little chisel. Do it to kind of pick some extra spots. Can't just keep it over the same spot. And then we keep on hitting it, baby. Nice. Oh, look at all them vertebrae. Look like bugs. Just flew out of, flew out of the rock. We have, we, got, we have rock bugs. Run for your lives. Okay. So now use the tools on the table to clean the bones. Hold space to place bones onto the table. So let's hold space. It's going to do this slow wheel. It's going to move all the stuff over and move it to this table right here. Huh? Where we have to brush, 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 brush. Uh. Now this is probably the most tedious part of the entire thing where you have to go and this is like a five part process. So we've got to get the dust off of here first. Now what I kind of like to do is you can hold the W and the S and we can do rotisserie style. We can just clean, you can keep the brush in one section, kind of just pan over it, do your thing. There we go. And once it's all done, it will then be placed, uh, it'll get placed on the table. So you don't have to worry about messing around with it too much or having it be in the way. Use tools on the table. Let me clear that message off. That message in the top right is super big and it can take up half the screen if you have them. So hit the X key and then I'll get rid of your messages there. And finally, last but not least, we got this guy. It does look, they do look like bugs. I know. It's just vertebrae. It's going to be fine. This is the most tedious part about the entire cleaning process. Uh, I believe I already said that, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then we move on. We got to spray. We got to hose it down. Usually, three sprays will do the trick. Nice. Don't need to spin them around at all. All right. Next. Got to get all these little little pieces off here. Got to get. Got to drill them off. Now this is where I start rotisserieing. I just spin it around and do its thing. Keep it in one spot. You'll see a couple spots here. Just kind of stop and pause. I mean, when you see a part or a fossil that's just has a lot of different intricate pieces, just settle down, take your time. There's a lot of generic pieces that you can just kind of whirly bird around. All right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> let's let's shave these down. Let's go ahead. We'll sand them down. Now this one is great for the rotisserie spin around here because you kind of just glance over top of it and it does a nice little, nice little blanket scrape job. I like it. See if we can just go back and forth through all of these here. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yes. Alright. A little dust up here. Likes it. There we go. And one last hose job. Don't need to spin anything around. It's got to make it moist. I'm just making it moist. Okay, last piece. Now we get to put it all together. Let's grab the head. And these are looks like the eye sockets. Gross, but cool all at the same time. Let's get the jawbone. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Let's grab another piece here. Got the smaller vertebra up top. Boom. Now we get to select it. Pick it up. Whoa, whoa. And drop it on there like it's hot. Now we get to do it all over again because they need three different parts. All right. Spraying down the last few vertebrae. Now this entire process I'm noticing in my little timer clocker, it's taking about 20 minutes from start to finish. Hold on a second, let's go ahead and we'll pop this up. 
I'm gonna build it here. Whoa, whoa. All right, there we go. Gotta put this vertebrae on first here, man. Oh, this guy here. You. You. Big guy there. Awesome. Drop it in. So yeah, from start to finish, got that little weird bone down there. Just in these three parts, 20 minutes ish ask roundabouts give or take so let's go ahead and pick it up and oh we got that booty all right apparently something just happened doors opened more you know we, we finished one project more doors open to our future and it looks like now we get to build our display now check this out dudes we get to build our own display and we can actually maneuver these guys around to however we see fit I think it's awesome. Let's see here. I'm going to maneuver this guy over to there. All right. And we got this guy. Hmm. There we go. All right, so can we resize this? Hold arrows in position to change dimensions. Oh, down here. Gotcha. It's not very specific. Now, when it comes to zooming in and zooming out, it does have a little bit of a zoom in, zoom out feature here functionality. Let's go ahead and apply this though. And we can use the middle mouse to kind of maneuver around. Again, this is an alpha version, so it may give you a little choppiness. And when it comes to this demo, you may need a beefy computer to check the specs in the Steam store before you go ahead and try to download it. Let's get some grass on here. Oh, look at you. Now you can click over here in the bottom left you see the scene set up. You can touch everything except for the dinosaur and the lighting. So, oh, we hit the tree, we can hit the branches here, we can hit the rocks, and we have all these different options to go ahead and pop in for our day and they have randomization here too so we just pick one thing and say we like we got a rock one rock here it'll be a bigger rock size it up I like that um including some bigger bushes some 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 plants some trees we got a little ground cover put some ferns some happy trees some happy bushes Uh, there we go. Boom. Let's get some tree trunks. Let's get a nice little tree trunk in here. Get some branches. Whoa. How about... Do we have strawberries? Do we got sticks over here? Get a little patches of sticks. Pick up sticks. Now we can go back. And Boom. Now, what happened to our other guy here? I thought we had another another dude that we could pop in here. Guess not. I dig it, though. I don't know what happened to our last guy. I thought we had a secondary person that we could, or a secondary dinosaur that we could put in here. Um, left click, pick up, use, inspect. I just want to see. Okay. Now it's pretty. I love it. And that's it. And then after that, you hit this and it ends the demo. Ah. Oh. I dig it though. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, the, 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 the removal of all the, the different things inside of this workshop here, I get it. I understand why we have to do it. But at the same time, it's like, wow, it takes a long time. So I really hope there's some sort of XP system where we can get some points and become better paleontologists, become better cleaners of the bones and constructor of them yes but folks that is gonna be episode for today if you enjoyed this video by all means hit that like button helps out my channel ever so much more you know and if you like it a whole lot go ahead hit subscribe new videos are coming out every single day every single week folks have a great day afternoon evening good night peace out like shao chow and i'll check you out right here again in fossil dinosaur fossil hunter next time